thank you, um, everyone. It's an honor to be here uh, with all these electeds and, and respectable uh, folks like yourselves. I know you guys have a lot of, a lot of responsibility, uh, but um, uh, again, with all due respect, I'm one of those folks that voted no on Measure C because we wanted dialogue. We want to be part of the process. And, and this document that I just saw. I'm sorry, because you didn't state your name. Could you please? Yes, and you said I'm your president of the Central Valley Leadership Roundtable, which is composed by elected and grassroots uh, organizers and leaders. Um, I want to say, I heard the same presentation, and all it is is a process. Yep. All, the ultimate decision making it does rest, to my understanding, and what I heard is on the mayors of the different cities where they take it and they get feedback from there, uh, the other councils, and then they make, a, they make a decision to approve it or not. These are just a framework. So it's not that we're giving too much power to a, a few, but I do want to say the reason why I'm here is because I did vote it the first time, no. But not because I don't think Measure C is a, is a good thing, it's got a lot of benefits. Um, but because if we were not part of the process, we have a lot of issues in Mendota, Fireball, San Joaquin. I drive to those towns every day. I live over there in that area. And frankly, it's, it's, we need to stop ignoring, neglecting these communities because they're part of Fresno County and people are talking about, I mean, look at Mendota. Being voted one of the worst cities to live in the state of California and probably throughout the United States, that's, I don't want that kind of reputation for any community, even if I don't live there. That has been the case because there's been neglection uh, after neglection of incorporating participation and really taking care of these smaller communities as well because it, we also pay into a system. My dad, who was on a settle, uh, came here to this country, this great country, which I owe a lot to this country because here we can change things, we can be part of the process. But let me tell you, some of those resources never trickle down to these rural communities. We don't want to be ignored. Now, if we do agree that there's participation, I will be the first one to support it. And, I, and in fact, I felt, I felt bad that I couldn't support it the first time. But every town, uh, in every city council, at least in the west side, one of the comments was, well, you know, they're giving us this documentation and we, we got to rush to a vote. We're not going to give a blank check to anyone without us being, having a voice. That's all. We're not asking for much. And so ultimately, the responsibility lies here. My father didn't have a lot of education, but he did understand that in order for some people to win, there has to be some people who lose. And I'm tired of being part of those communities that lose out. It's time to, for a new vision. Those are my comments. Thank you. Thank you.